Hello everyone, this is Herman Dasuri from Toronto Drivers, your one-stop shop for all the driving solutions. Friends, a lot of people have difficulty reversing, and because they have difficulty reversing, they have difficulty re reverse parking or parallel parking, and also three-point turn, because in all the three maneuvers, you need to reverse a car. So, because a lot of people have difficulty reverse parking, I thought I'll make a video to show you how you can fix reverse parking. I know I have made a video already on how to correct reverse parking, but I felt that there were a few aspects, a few things that I missed out on, and I thought I would like to cover them in this video. So. In this video, I've taken shots from different angles so that you know you can observe and see what exactly goes into reversing, how to turn the wheel, what exactly to look for. And in terms of looking um, when you're reversing, I would recommend you use blind spot mirrors. Blind spot mirrors are very helpful. I'm a huge fan of blind spot mirrors. Since the time I got introduced to blind spot mirrors, I've never, never, ever taken them off my side view mirrors. So they're very helpful. You would see how I use them in this video to reverse the car. I know I already have made a video on how to reverse park, but let me tell you something. Me being an ex-driving instructor and someone who makes videos on uh, driving, I'd like to say that no method is an absolute foolproof method. See, it, it may work for a lot of people, but at the same time, it doesn't work for um, everyone who's trying it. And that is why you would also see um, dislikes on some of my videos, which is okay. I understand that and that is why you know I'm trying to make these uh, videos to help people who are not able to get the parking right with the method that I've already explained in the videos so Since it's not a foolproof method you need to correct it and this is the this is what I'm trying to show in this video that how you can correct reverse parking when you're too far or too close to the line so please watch this video very carefully and try to understand how reversing is actually done. And if you understand this, trust me, you would not have difficulty parallel parking or reverse parking or even through doing a three-point turn. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, my friend, then please make sure you subscribe to the channel because as promised, I'm going to bring a lot of driving videos to help you become a better driver and to pass the road test with flying colors. Thank you very much for watching and thank you for being a lovely audience. I, I love you all. Thank you and I hope you enjoy the video. So the first thing and the most important thing you want to know about reversing is what direction you should turn the wheel in. A lot of new drivers get confused when it comes to turning the wheel. So this is what you want to remember. Pay attention to this because this is really important. When reversing a vehicle, you turn the wheel in the direction you want the back of the car to go. The key word here is the back of the car. So you turn the wheel in the direction you want the back of the car to go in. So here's a question for you. Which way would you turn the wheel if you want the back of the car to go to the right? Wow, that's the right answer. You're brilliant. So you will turn the steering wheel to the right because you want the back of the car to go to the right. If you want the back of the car to go to the left, then you will turn the wheel to the left. Isn't that easy to remember? So you turn the steering wheel in the direction you want the back of the car to go. Now let's use this method to fix reverse parking. In this picture, you can see that I'm closer to the line on the left-hand side. This blind spot mirror was on the left-hand side view mirror, and what you see here is this yellow line. The reason I have the video angle from the blind spot mirror is that I wanted to show you how useful they are during parking. So in order to fix this parking, we need to move to the right hand side because that is where more space is. Since we want the back of the car to go to the right, we will start by turning the steering wheel to the right and we'll move back a little bit. This can get tricky because you don't want to go too far back. 
If you do, then you will end up being too close to the line on the right hand side. So you move back, leaving some space for adjustment and then you would stop. Now let me ask you another question here. At this point, you don't want the back of the car to go to the right because you will hit the line. And you can't reverse straight because even then you will hit the line. So which way should you go now? You have two seconds to answer this. Wow, you amaze me. You're right again. When driving forward or backward, we only go in three directions. That is left, right, or straight. Since we can't go right and straight, the only direction that remains is left. So we will turn the wheel to the left hand side and keep going back until the car is straight. When you turn the wheel to the left in reverse, the back of the car goes to the left just like this. So stop when the car is straight. Now this is another tricky part. When I used to teach driving, 50% of my students would get it right up to this point and then they would make a blunder. They would take a pause and start reversing again without straightening out the wheel and this is what would happen. They would put themselves in an even worse situation and to top it, the pressure of the road test would make their brains freeze. You don't want to make that mistake. Therefore, when the car is straight, you want to make sure that the steering wheel is straight so that you can go back in a straight line. If you don't know how to straighten out the wheel, then feel free to watch my video on how to straighten out the wheel. You should start reversing only after you've straightened out the wheel. After straightening out the wheel, reverse slowly while checking your mirrors and the blind spot and stop before you hit the curb behind you. So this is how reversing is done. I know it's not as easy as I made it sound. Therefore, I always encourage everyone to practice. Practice is a key to getting better at driving, or for that matter, getting better at anything in life. So make sure you practice hard and ace reversing. So let's do this one more time so that you can remember the steps. I'm going to put the car back in the position where I'm actually off the line on the left hand side, just like this. So since I want the back of the car to go to the right, I will turn the wheel to the right just like this and reverse a bit, leaving some space between the rear tire and the line. Then I'll turn the wheel to the left because I want the back of the car to go to the left. And then I will straighten out the wheel and reverse straight and stop before I hit the curb. Now let me show you how to correct if you're too close to the line on the right hand side. Since there is more space on the left hand side, you will start by bringing the back of the car to the left hand side. For this, you will need to turn the wheel to the left and stop a few inches before you hit the line. And then turn the wheel to the right because that is the direction you want the back of the car to go in and stop when the car is straight. Now you will straighten out the wheel and reverse straight. So that's that about reversing a car and I hope you liked this video. If you did, then do me a favor, smash that like button and share it with the world. Now here's a question for the $50 Amazon giveaway. The question is, if your car has a rear view camera, are you allowed to use the camera on the road test? Write your answers in the comment box below and make sure you meet the conditions in order to win the contest. Thank you very much for watching and please do subscribe if you found this video helpful. I'll see you again with another video. Ciao.